Happy home day, motherfuckers. <sighs> Howdy, how? Yeah. Good Lord. What's up, fellas? What is going on? I don't know, man. I see how I was. I, I just thought I'd see how much shit I'd get talked on me for wearing a funny hat. So I'm wearing a funny hat. <laughs> that new hat? It is. What you tired of getting your your brain cover roasted or? No, I got this because I got a mosquito net, and if you don't wear this with the mosquito net, it's just they're just gonna bite your head through the net. <laughs> yep, I already knew where you were going. And I plan on doing some fishing. Now, I was going to ask, so if you're getting outdoor gear, it means you're intending on spending some time outdoors, eh? A wee bit. I'm hoping. Good for you, man. I mean, it might not be all together for this year because there's some bigger items I need to get, like said badass motherfucking hammock. <laughs> that is a pretty cool hammock. What's going on, vampire? Yeah, yeah, I had to drop a few poo poos. Hey, Raz. Oh, hey, everybody can be jealous. You know why? Because I got mine first, Biatches. Yeah. Oh, and that's, the actually... that's my nipple is right there, literally. <laughs> that's perfect. I totally want to be the hole in that A. Woo, Raz, man. Rad man, if you don't know who Rad man is, well, you're a fucking idiot. Like, who wouldn't want to be an a hole? <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Well, you know, I said it, not realizing what I said till after I said it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Product. Yeah. You know, it's on my list of things to do this year. I was talking to Brandy. And a couple weeks ago, I started noticing Chris had a Raz shirt, and I think Raz had a Chris shirt, and I was like, you know what? I need to get all the Peep shirts. Well, if I can remember the password, I'm pretty sure I could get you a Chuck It one still from our account. <laughs> Sweet. You know what, though? I do have the new logo, so... Is that an excuse to do a redesign? Uh, I think so. Cool. I'll just stick with the Chuck It special I got. Oh, there we go. Coffee. Well, more coffee. <laughs> Jim, Ray, Eric. I almost said Raz and then ended with Ray, so it was Ray. Ray's. All right. So, did you see the TBS Mango? I'm looking at it on my screen right this very second. Okay. $189 pre-order over at Gurr Fervor. It's a $189 pre-order if you want the Ethics Edition. And if you look at what separates the ethics edition from the standard TBS edition, it ain't much. It's 0. .00001 ounces of plastic powder. Not even. In other words, the logo. <laughs> yeah. So, for 140 bucks, I think is what the, the TBS branded version is. It doesn't look bad. And look, I can remember people really riding TBS as, as they've come out with their last couple transmitters. You know, why don't you come out with a quote-unquote standard format transmitter? I'm one of them. And you know, when I look at that, I'm not offended by it at all. Now, uh, there's a couple things that struck me as a little odd. Like, I wonder why they would opt for the black and white monochrome screen instead of a color screen, even if it's not a touch screen. Why stick with the monochrome? Yeah, but how much less is that actually making it? I don't know, but if my camera's going to do this the whole fucking time, I'm going to wig out. <laughs> there it is. Oh, now I see it. I'm thinking, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. 
Um, I, I pretty much can guess why they went with that. Um, is uh, they wanted to stick at a lower price point. I mean, hell, dude, I'm looking at them right, and I'm looking at all of them right now. Uh, the original TBS Tango is still 250 bucks. Right. Okay. See, and I was sitting there thinking it probably had more to do with battery life. You notice that instead of going with a LiPo battery out of the box, which I think would have had a lot of value, they went with an 18650 tray, which is not a terrible option, but I think LiPos are a lot friendlier for us. Convenient. That's what I mean. I don't want to buy a charger for 18650s, but a lot of people have them already, so it's like not a big deal. Well... When I first started running my 18650 transmitter packs, I was getting, on average, about three or four days of time on each charge. And that's two 18650s. Now I get, I get into the third day, but I don't complete it. Of course, they are old. <laughs> many charges. Many, many, many. Yeah. Week sitting in his bag charged. Fair point, Vampire. Uh, I did catch that. It's parallel, so you can use it with one. Two just increases the capacity. Right. Whereas I'm sure if they went with a color LCD, they would need 2S voltage to support that. No doubt, no doubt. But I I'm not offended by it. Like, I'm just saying the thing that caught me off guard, right? The, the one thing that I expected to see more than anything, they didn't have. With that said, I figured when I started, when I noticed that they launched two brands, the TBS and the Ethics, I was like, you watch, the TBS brand will not have hall sensors. Nope. Ball bearing hall sensor gimbals. Like, so they went with really good hardware on a lot of stuff. Yeah, I was just looking over its uh, dealer bobbers. Now, every, of course... Let's uh, point out the elephant in the room. Well, besides me and Josh, um, it's Tracer. Everybody and their mom is talking shit about Tracer. But let me say this, motherfuckers. I hear just as many people bitching about Tracer as I do about Crossfire. Mm -hmm. There are idiots everywhere. And most of them are just doing it wrong. Now, yes, there is some fail-saving problems. Yes, it's a newer product. But hell, I still hear just as many people having crossfire problems right now. So I don't know. Well, on the tracer front, initially, I was kind of like, oh, you know, that's the one thing. But then, of course, I do have an external crossfire module. Oh, wait, so it's not wait, a great fuck. Josh, I know you're, no, you're making a point, so I got to talk. Hi, Mr. D. You may continue. We he had, he was he was going to flip out, dude. We had to stop the show. When you talk about the size of the antennas and things like that, which I know that you know you guys have recently found something thanks to John that really does seem to be worth its weight in gold uh, for a lot of reasons. But when you talk about you know durability due to antenna size, things like that, Tracer has crossfire beat there. All the antennas for tracers are a lot smaller. Yes, yes. And even the tracer receivers are half the size of a Crossfire Nano. There you go. Now, I do know that, like, you know, uh, what's his face? A guy who doesn't talk to us anymore. Oh, I'm starting to lose memory of him now. Um, the trucker, man. <laughs> Squish. He used Tracer, and uh, well, he, he ended up blowing up a quad because he failed safe the shit out of it. But, you know, that's the one person I've heard that's had it. Well, remember that Tracer was put in place to get back on 2.4 because all of the radio guys have said all along that 2.4 is a magic spot for a lot of reasons. Now, I think that that's partly due to how easy it is to sell it internationally. I think it also has um, a lot to do with hardware requirements, right? But but most of it doing with international sales, meaning 
the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum is internationally open. So they don't have to have, you know, a 900 megahertz version for Europe and a 915 for America. And, you know, everybody else gets 25 milliwatts, but these guys can have 500 milliwatts. And, you know, there's right. none of that going on. Probably one of the reasons why they could get that price point, you know. Then to boot, because 2.4 has such a higher frequency than 915 um, megahertz, you know, you're talking about more than double the amount of data being able to push through the frequency uh, due to bandwidth that when you talk telemetry and packets and response, it is going to be if they dial it in right. And I think that's all they're waiting on. You know, they're trying to get everything 100% dialed in right. And it looks like where they're going, they're going to have a few different profiles for are you have a uh, freestyle and you want a little bit more range, but you don't care about, you know, having that super lightning response or are you a racer and you want that really lightning response? Because uh, I was, I was doing some reading and that's where, where most of the discussion has been. So I think once they get that dialed in and they get the telemetry dialed in just to deal with the few fail safe issues due to like um, desync of the signal, I think they'll be in pretty good shape. You know, I you probably you remember hearing me say it a hundred times, dude, if they ever came out with a crossfire controller that was the platform that I use, you know, the bigger platform that I would be on it all over it in a heartbeat. Well, that looks about perfect to me, except for maybe the lanyard ring I would replace with the one that comes on the XT9 Plus, uh, just because it gives it that counterbalance. But Yeah, but that was supposed to be one of the points, is that that eyelet is at the center of balance center of gravity on the transmitter. Are they counting my gigantic-ass belly? Because that changes things. Well, just throwing it out there, I'm sure. I know. But, yeah. Now I'm I'm not sure how I feel about the internal antenna, but I mean I can't. That's just mental, I'm sure. You know, for me though, it was hard to find the proper center of balance on this because this islet was not put anywhere with balance in mind, and I ended up having to look for this fucking thing forever when I first got it, in order to change the point where it hung so that it did provide the right angle for me. That's exactly where mine is on the last rung. Yep. So little things like that definitely go a long way. I'm not going to lie. It definitely has my attention. I'm not ready to just like pounce right on it this second. But well, as this thing begins to age more and becomes a little less reliable and all the controls are starting to go, um, the gimbals are good and the switches are good, but these things are, this doesn't work for shit anymore. <laughs> it's definitely looking uh, pretty attractive. Oh, and of course, I just bought a second, uh, you know, backup transmitter, XT9 Plus from Vampire over here not too long ago. So, and I got a bunch of Crossfire receivers. So, as much as I would like a more modern uh, transmitter, I don't know. I got other shit to buy. Yeah. Well, uh, And I'm not... I have no incentive to move to Tracer, but it would be one additional thing in the arsenal. Now, I have no desire to be DSMX and Spectrum and all this other stuff. Like, I'm never going to do anything with any of that. So, you know, when you talk about the guys on the Radio Master and all that other stuff that, you know, they can fly everything. For me, there's no incentive to have that. Yeah, I don't really need that. Um, I do like that transmitter. I really do. Um, all the problems that I thought it had, which were deal breakers for me, apparently it is easily fixed or they don't even have. Um, so, but yep, no. XT9 Plus for the next 10 years. <laughs> you know me, I'll be flying this thing till it literally breaks down. And I'll even bitch about not being able to configure it anymore, but because it powers on, I'll still run it. <laughs> Oh, man. So, the FAA released its recreational pilot safety test last week. I don't care. 
I know you don't care, but I you feel it's worth talking about. And only well. because as I started to flip through it, what's that? Edron really wanted us to say his name. Oh. As I started to flip through it, I realized it's very easy. It's not technical at all. And it does have some perks as far as keeping people off your back because it only takes a few minutes. It's not like an hour-long test. It is free. It, how do I say this? It, it's intended to be easy because they, the whole point, the way I understand it is, you know, when you get people getting into something and the excuse is, well, I didn't know, this removes that. Yeah, as I was going to say, I think this is basically a way for them to force people to learn something about what they're getting into before they get into it. It acknowledges liability. Yeah, that too. But it does. It gives people something to think about for the people that legitimately just get in, get excited, and truly don't know and don't think about certain things. It gets those juices flowing. But look, it's free. On top of it being free... You never have to renew it. It never expires. Now, with that said, if you lose the certificate, you will have to retake it because nobody is maintaining records. And that certificate is your only proof of pass. But as long as you maintain proof that you passed it, that you maintain that certificate or a picture of it or something, you never have to take it again for any reason. I got Photoshop. Uh-huh. <laughs> so guess what I'll be doing? Hey, anybody who needs a certificate, uh, five bucks plus shipping. Nice. Well, free. that gets to the other piece. Free, free if I can Key just point. email it to you. <laughs> Key point, it is free. Now, the FAA themselves have, you know, are going to be allowing other people to administer and offer the test. And it is under no circumstances ever supposed to have any fee attached to it for any reason. So if you see somebody touting that you can pay to take it through them, it is a scam. I got an idea, Josh. <laughs> Let's go yes. get some money. Are Let's we going to be some... Nigerian princes? Yes. <laughs> Now, check this out. This test applies to everybody. Now, there are people that are going to that, look, check this out, that are going to say, well, I'm flying the Walmart toy. It doesn't matter. It applies to you. Check that out. That was specifically addressed. Doesn't matter if you're flying the, the cheap stuff from your outlet stores. It applies. Check this out. It does not matter if you are part 107 licensed you must still take the trust test. If you are flying by remote control, any aircraft that maintains in the air, you are required to take the test. I'm going to start calling it the, now you can't sue the government test. <laughs> well, so trust is an acronym. I know. Oh, you do. Oh, I didn't say I cared enough to know what it was. I just know uh -huh. it's an acronym. <laughs> the Recreational UAV Safety Test. I like mine better. <laughs> it's just worth throwing out there because, look, I, I mean, I don't care a whole lot, but I am also going to complete it to get it out of the way, and then I will care even less. All right, I'm going to need you to take a high-definition picture of your stupid certificate and send it to me. Sure, with dicks on it. Now, the last item. We've addressed it. It applies to everybody no matter what. If you're flying something that can be maintained and controlled in air, you're on it. There are people that thought through their question and answer sessions that if they flew under 250 grams, they were immune from this test, and that would also be wrong. Two, being less than 250 grams means that you do not have to register the aircraft, but you still must complete the recreational safety test. Those are most of the major points. Vampire just made one of the points, which is makes this whole thing even dumber. 
Right. Well, and that's that's what's going to be interesting because there's no way, as far as officiality goes, to verify that the certificate you're looking at is valid, that it is authentic. Exactly. That I'm aware of. But when I no. receive my certificate, I'll let you know if it has the little dollar bill stripe running through it, or it's it's not embossed or anything. Oh, it's. it's Probably on photocopier paper that has a bad photocopy on the back side. But. Dude, from what I've seen of this thing, it seems to me that they put so little into this that they knew the only people that were going to fucking even care and not laugh their asses off were your normies. Whoa. Like, what is the point if you're not keeping a record of who took it? You have to get a driver's license, but we don't keep track of who actually has theirs. Exactly. And I am a floating head. <laughs> Thank you very much, Plummet. Plummet. Always appreciated. Good night, big dog. Yeah, the government's full lot of a lot of um, dumb shit lately, is it not? But we don't have to get into all that. <laughs> Keep <right. laughs> So check this. <clears throat> check this out. I cannot win. And it's my own fault, like lack of attention to detail. So two weeks ago... The goggles, or, or the HD, takes a poo-poo, right? I decide I'm going to go. I'm, I'm making the full commitment to HD. Uh, I completely catch my uh, receiver on fire. Okay. So now I have to get HD in. So I take the time, get my first one squared away, get the 3D prints. Because, look, it wasn't just wiring it. I had to have it mounted in a way that I was proud to have it in the build. So it took some prototyping, and, yeah. So I get it all in there. Get it maidened out in the front yard and then have to go away for the weekend <laughs> for family bullshit. And I do mean that in every sense of the phrase. Mm, so smell, I, it smelled great. Yeah, right? So I get back last weekend and I'm tired. So I go to bed. I remembered to charge, not remembered, but I charged my goggle battery. I did not charge any of my drone batteries. <laughs> That's okay. I have a travel charger, so I grab a power brick, and I grab my travel charger, my parallel board, and all my batteries. I throw it in the bag. I get to the hotel. I'm like, all right, I need to charge batteries. So I get them all plugged into the parallel board, get that plugged into the charger, plug in the power brick, and it tells me it's receiving too much voltage, and it will not power on. I'm like, what the fuck? So I look at the brick. It's not my normal power brick for that. And I look at the voltage. This charger handles up to 18 volts. My charger, my power brick, 19 volts. <laughs> <coughs> you need to step so down. I'm here, ready to roll, ready to fly this week. Oh, let me tell you, the weather has been outstanding here. Low to mid 70s, no humidity, light breeze, nothing but sun. And the place I'm working at, they stop work at four. <clears throat> Yesterday, they come in into the conference room about quarter to four o'clock. And he's like, so uh, what time are you guys thinking about leaving? I was like, well, we typically leave at five. And he's like, hmm, a lot of us stop work between four and four thirty. And then there won't be anybody in the office. I'm like, so, I mean, we can leave. You know, that's fine. He's like, well. I'll be here till about 4.15, but after that, there won't be anybody to lock up. I'm like, okay, all right, we'll get packed up and go. <laughs> Talk about just trying to be as nice as you can. Please get out. I want to go home. Hey, and, on, and on the complete reverse side of that, I've been wanting to fucking floor like a mugger. And every time I get a chance, it's dumping outside. Ready to go. <sighs> You know what? I was bitching the same exact way this time last year, too. It's a cycle. Oh, yeah. But 
check this out. So I, I mauled around what to do about the analog module for a while, right? I know Chris has something. It was just more than I really wanted to spend right now because all this was an expense that I did not plan. And as you have been made well aware, we've had a lot of unplanned expenses going on, right? Understatement. Right. So here's where I landed. And I did this partly based on budget. But if I had spent just a few more dollars, I'll say 15 more dollars, I could have definitely gotten something that I know is proven. But check. Here's where we went. The fox here. Uh. The wildfire. So here's how I'm going to play this. Why? I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Why? So since I am fully HD ready to roll now, I'm not fully dependent on this. If I want to fly all five builds, I am, but, you know. And I thought, you know, I want to see if it'll, how it will stand up just to the way I fly, where I fly, all that. Because I know through some of the Joshua Bardwell tests going three stories deep in a parking garage that it doesn't stand up to rapid fire or uh, fusion. But uh, I don't fly places like that. No, at least so, not, ex except when you're with me. And even then, I don't go that deep. So <laughs> so I'm going to give it a shot. And in two weeks, if I don't like it, I'm sending it back. That's the way. And then I I'm going to spend the extra $15. <laughs> kind of like hey. the color of the case, too. But that was that was definitely not an actual selling point. I trust your asshole mystery. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah. Trustpilotinstitute.com. Are, are we going to promote this? No. In fact, I think he needs a big fucking band hammer right to his scrotum. Whoa. That guy's he, such a dick. He just got timed out. <laughs> Uh, just because the second he told me that I couldn't talk about food to him, it was on. What? You don't remember that? No. He was like, blah, blah, blah. I eat bread by the loaf while I sit on the shitter. And then I was oh. like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I don't do all that. I mean, that, that's probably not good. But sourdough is awesome. And he's like, no offense, which you automatically know where that's going. No offense, but uh, I'm not taking dietary advice from a fat ass and i was like mm -hmm, okay i think my point was fucking fully valid bro for the if you guys that don't know i said you know what a fat man is the person to <laughs> tell you because he knows everything about it <laughs> we just don't care i'm good pyro's got uh nebula nano cadix kits for what 130 if i really needed them and by the way, guys, I'm kidding. That is totally not how it went. But you know, I gotta, I gotta just nut check my boys. It's pretty close how it went, <laughs> but without the insult, I wasn't insulted at all. We love you, Drone. I won't time you out anymore unless Vampire tells me to. <laughs> you did, Raz, but I do not want that path to your bony body. <laughs> no. Sorry. Um, I would rather have my heart explode and me die violently. <laughs> Which is pretty much what I'm on the path to, you know. So But this weekend we're gonna head down. So when I finish work Friday, I'm gonna guess by seven PM we will be on the road. No later than seven PM. We're gonna drive about seven hours down to the Southern Hills of West Virginia and spend a long weekend with my brother-in-law. He's out in the middle of nowhere, lots of bluffs and shit around. So I'm going to stretch the uh, the long range quads legs a little bit, make sure I definitely get some uh, fly time in and then come home ready to meet with the boys. Time for yeah. time I for an amigo day. Raz is supposed to be down at some point, too, I heard. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I know when. at the end of the month I'll be up his way. Nice. I'm Big gonna make oilies. sure I leave early that Monday. That way I can fly all day with Raz. 
big oily, we're going to start calling you Fog. <laughs> What's going on, big oily? Uh, uh, just so you know, uh, I got the $50 gift certificate ordered to his house uh, a couple days ago. Very nice. Thank you. Well, do you want to do another one? Is there like people in here that would love to have fifty dollars for FPV shit from their favorite store? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll do that in like two months. They would have to speak up. Yeah. I mean, look, last time we really bamboozled everybody. We at one point had like ten or eleven people in here, and just as soon as it hit four, Chuck was like. Time for a giveaway. Damn straight. <laughs> May the odds be ever in your favor. So, how are we going to do this? I don't know. You got something interesting in mind? Hmm. I'm thinking, thinking a hashtag. What? Throw it out there. I don't know. I don't know who he's talking to, but I think it's funny. Probably me. You're dead to me. I don't know. It looks random from here, from what I can see. And that's from Eric Marvel. That's not from me, Joe. Interesting. Time out isn't that long, bro. It's supposed to be like 300 seconds. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, so let's see. What's this hashtag going to be? First person to post a hashtag, that becomes the train to get on to get your name in the wheel of names. And we will do another. You want to do 50? Okay. Okay. We'll do another $50 giveaway. We will figure out what's going down. Chuck, read the names off as you see them. They better be fucked up hashtags. No, it, it can't be just a pound sign. It's got to be a legitimate hashtag, which is All right. hashtag something. I'm going with hashtag Razman FPV. Y'all fuckers pound that out. You want money. And Big Oily, you can't win, though. You won last week, last time. All right. So that means plus we have a Big plus Oily. Oh. Plus you're a baller, bro. <laughs> Oh, Eric's talking to himself now. I want to see hashtag Razman FPV if you want money, fuckers. Razman FPV if you want it. <laughs> I knew he'd be jumping onto the computer. No shame. <laughs> so we got Tommy. We got Raz. Uh, Vampire don't want no money. No. He can't. He can't bring himself to type Razman FPV. I mean. Come on. Come on. Type it, bitches. Bobby this Bags. This is how you spell it. Right here. Where did that guy come from? Bobby Bags. Huh? All right. We got a plummet. We got an e-drone. There we go. Get in there, plum e-drone. I guess we can count e-drone. He hasn't made any content for the FPV noob tube in ages. Yeah, he's definitely just a viewer now. <laughs> well, he would be if there was anything to view. <laughs> right? All right, we got... Vampire's too good for us. I'm going to put him in here anyway. You're in, Vampire, you whore. Oh, uh, I appreciate that. This is good. We had that one rando guy, which I'm super grateful to, and this is not a bad mouth thing, but that one rando guy that was going to throw down, you know, his life savings in here last show. And so we definitely have wiggle room. Hey, Bobby. Type hashtag this. If wait, you wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Money. Sorry. If you type this shit with a hashtag, if you want to win some money. <laughs> So, Raz, what do you mean, hold my shirt? You have a shirt? Probably look like spandex.
Tater. We got a gym. Okay, so let's do this. Go ahead and share this. All right, guys. If you want to be entered into the chance to win a $50 giveaway at your FPV store of preference, that could be Amazon, that could be Pyro, that could be Banggood, that could be AliExpress, whatever. You must throw a hashtag RazmanFPV into chat. <laughs> I'll get to, I'll get right to work on that shit. Right? <laughs> and Josh will be wearing it. <laughs> oh God. All right, where am I at? Share screen. Anyways, yeah, we got uh we got the E drone, we got the Bobby Bagger. We got Bagger. Let's see. You don't see your name on there and you want it to be. You better speak up, suckers. Vampire, if you win, you are getting a gift card from AliExpress, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, somebody's got to say when. Somebody's got to uh, shout Baggett, to me. You got Tommy on there. Plum. Did you did you write it up? Is Plum on there? Yeah, Plum's on there. You spelled my name wrong. <laughs> All right, last chance, suckers. Look at his chances are pretty damn good. They are. If if he drone wins, we're never gonna hear the end of it. <sighs> yep. Hold on, Eric. If you win, uh you're kicked out of the noob tube. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this don't worry. Don't, constant don't worry. nuts. He never even gets his feeling back. Hey, don't don't worry. We'll, we'll let you back in later. All right, here goes. <laughs> Give a countdown. Give a countdown in chat, starting at five. You guys got to get from five, four, three, two, one in chat in order. I want to see it. Watch, this is going to be a complete cluster. Fives, <laughs> then fours, then then another five, then a three, then a Twelve. five, then a four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here it goes. Good Lord. Ooh. Who is Bobby Bags? Bobby Bags. Bobby, congratulations, home skillet. You just won 50 bucks to wherever the hell you want. So. We are going to flash an email address up here. You can get in touch with us right there. In other, in other words, so we can get, you know, what store you want your gift certificate to be through and uh, what your address is, what your email address is. Not necessarily your mailing address, but all that other good stuff. No, actually, yes, your mailing address. Yes, for. Yeah. Anyway, stickers and straps. Anybody yeah, who's running it. low on slaps or straps needs to get, get some more. Yeah, we got a box with like 300 noob tube straps that's just rotting. So email the email. Yep, I'm running some. I love just being able to put them on, you know, builds as I need them. I do. Lots of pride. <laughs> that's right. I could put uh, one of my I could put one of my hat right here. You could. I got a little I got a little loopy. Tactical loopies. <laughs> so check it out. Last weekend, me and the missus were down in Savannah, Georgia. Well, we flew into Savannah, drove into Hicksville, about an hour and a half away. And while we were there, we went and had barbecue in this kick-ass little barbecue place that had stickers all over the wall. 
Now, I was already thinking it. My wife goes, where's your stickers? I love her. Right? You tell her that she is awesome sauce. Chuck said She it. knows this. I tell her every day. Yeah, but and you're her husband. Meeting, she, ask her. No, she. you're her husband. She ain't going to believe you. Yeah, well. She'll believe me, though. I got her a golf. She will. Yes, you did. Which, if you could have just seen the puzzled reaction, it, it was golden. I know, right? He doesn't <laughs> know me, but how did he know I like dolphins? Why did he send me this? I don't know how to feel. I'm like, hey, next time Chuck stays the night, can he sleep in our bed with us? <laughs> <laughs> did it work? <laughs> Oh, that's right. You relegated me to your daughter's bed. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, she is still salty about that. Of course, she's getting ready to go back to college for another semester, so we'll have to find some other rando bum to sleep in her bed for a couple nights. Yeah, she was gone, guys. She wasn't there. <laughs> oh, well. You know, I didn't really consider that anybody would have taken it any other way because I was on the inside. <laughs> That's what I'm here Ooh. for, context. Bobby, even if you get noob tube straps just so you can use them as a cock ring or some other random thing not dealing anything with drones, they're nice. It, as long as you get the Velcro all right, dude, it makes a great cock ring. Yep. Good night, Mr. Vampire. I'm really kind of sad I didn't get you a card to AliExpress. <laughs> All right. Well, I have a thing or two, I think. All right. If I didn't, if I didn't accidentally close them all. Yeah. Get this roller here. New product time. I don't know if it's new, but uh, what? I want to go. Right? I can't, but I want to. So, Big Oily, somewhere around the 27th, whatever week the 27th is in, I will be coming up that Monday. And I'll be staying outside of Fishkill, so I'm in Joe Stan territory. Check this thing out. I mean, it's a pretty good value for, for the money, too. I, I, I saw this, and I was just like, oh, you know, I have all that shit already. But if somebody had wanted a little travel repair kit, this is the bomb right here. Okay, what's in that? Okay, first of all, it's got a multimeter... Right. First of okay. all, look at that case. Look at that case. That's just oh. Anyway. Look, it is nice to have a case to keep things kind of wrapped up in your bag, so everything's not just floating around getting mixed up. Right now, this is something that actually surprised me about it. I love these right here. Oh, whoops. These actually hmm. used to come with all the RC cars. And they fit your stack screws perfectly. Little skate key thing. And it's got a little freaking nice little crazy prop wrench, which I think I would actually really like that style. Mm -hmm. A multi-tip freaking uh, dildo <laughs> to take out your motor screws and whatnot. All right. Uh, I'm sure the solder right here is absolute crap, but it's got the sponge. It's got the little soldered thing. It's got a freaking soldering iron. Like, hot damn, son. Not sure what that soldering iron plugs into. Let's look at the, let's look at the nitty gritty. Oh, here's the, here's the tester. It's just a cheapy, but it does everything we need. You know? I mean, all that for, or, I mean, 70 bucks, that ain't bad. Way 
Richard. And which uh, soldering iron is that? I do, it's not going to be a name brand. No, no. Uh, okay. I assumed. But it's a DC 12 to 24 volts. So you just clip, clip off that barrel connector and put an XT60 on it. You're good to go for pretty much anything you got. You know, with it being, what's it say, up to 24 volts, I wonder if it can handle full 6S. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what's it going to do? Get a little hotter? <laughs> well. <laughs> a lot hotter. <laughs> uh, it goes up to 400 uh, Celsius. Holy shit balls. I don't think that's correct. I think that's Fahrenheit. <laughs> what's up, off axis, brother? Thank you. Uh, like you guys know, every every dollar you put to the noob tube goes back at you. Bags found that out tonight. I haven't seen him here before, and uh, I bet he's glad he showed up. Listen to us assholes blather on about bullshit and win fifty bucks. Uh, let's see here. One point five amps. So it's not going to be a crazy kill. It's 65 watts, so that ain't half bad. That's not bad at all. There's a lot of irons out there that stop at 60, and actually I've seen a lot of 40 watts floating around too. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I got the Haku, so. What's that, Haku. 60 watts? Uh, I think it's 80. Hmm. Still, very nice kit for the money. I mean – Yes, you're getting a little bit of quality with it. And that's not to say that the iron itself isn't quality. I'm just throwing out there that you don't know. You won't know. But, you know, a TS-100 still, for when they first came out, were, what, 80 90 bucks. 90 yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can buy that lamb one now for, like, what, 50 Yeah. It's like the little brother one. A multimeter. So it's got a... It's, Socket screwdriver, pocket, multimeter, soldering iron, holder, quad solder pocket pack. Yeah, it's probably a bunch of crap in there for solder, but that's what, that's whatever. Yeah. 65 watt iron, a flux pen. How nice. Tweezers. XT60. Okay, that cable was an XT60, the DC cable. There you go. Um, it has a r centimeter ruler, which is just, I don't know. Maybe they had to fill some space. A lanyard, cutting pliers, cutting knife, a prop tool. And I really like that prop tool. I might look for something like that. I think that's mm -hmm. bitch. What I like about stuff like that is that you're not as likely to over torque your prop nuts. Yeah, 70 bucks. That's not bad. It's a little exacto knife. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck it's got a ruler <laughs> for us. I'm not going to lie. There are times I wish I had one of those in my bag. So, you know what? I bet Flywoo makes a bunch of other stuff for, like, you know, not under the Flywoo name. And they're like, we got to get rid of these. We can't sell them. Throw them in the fucking bag. Bro, you know, you've seen that style of handle on other. Check this out. Yeah. And that's Team Black Sheep. Team Black Sheep. Well, I mean, that, I mean all standard. of these are made by OEMs. You know, they're not made. Yeah, it's all pretty standard anyway. Yeah. Um, I actually like the fact. I, I wouldn't mind ha if, it, if it had the good tips on it. I wouldn't mind having one where you could ram those rods right up its ass, you know, and have them with you. Oh, yeah. Dude, but I want that thing. I the love little baby snips. I love fidgety little tools. I'm a <laughs> freak for that shit. And that is a badass prop wrench right there. All right. Enough of that bullshit. That's Flywoo. If you want it, 60 bucks. 70 yeah, bucks. Good stuff. If I didn't already have all that shit, I would totally buy it. And I do believe you had a little review on a Hoda battery charger once before, didn't you? But I'm not sharing the screen right now, so you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't think mine was Hoda. 
Well, it looked just like this shit. Well, let's take a look. What's, what caught my eye about this thing is that bitch charges your phone wirelessly, too. <laughs> yeah, Joe has one of those, Fordo. That's cool. I'll tell you what, I was really impressed with it. That thing on both channels puts out a lot of amps. And yes, Perfect. it has that wireless charger on top. But as he pointed out, he's like, check this out. When I got both channels running and got those amps going, and then I throw the phone up top, this son of a bitch gets hot. Oh, no doubt, dude, because I'm sure it doesn't have just got the standard fan in it that they put in all those bitches. But, I mean, for the price, it better be able to put out some amps. Well, an integrated power supply, too. So, I mean, that's the full package. Okay, then I'd say that's pretty cheap. I didn't look into it that far. I just saw the picture, and I was like, oh, cool, we're going to look at that. Yep, you can plug it in AC direct. It converts to DC. Oh, and you can get it in pyro blue, baby. Oh, look, mm -hmm. look at that. Look at that USB port. Oh. oh yeah, it's God. got ports for monitoring, but it also has USB ports for powering other things. His has been very reliable, and it is in a pretty small package considering. Blah, 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 dual output, uh, yeah, yeah, 60, 650 watt, which isn't bad. Mm -hmm. uh, wireless charging in the top, That's they're putting that shit in everything now. Mm -hmm. Hey, I rented a car this week that has wireless charging built into it. That's terrible, I like it. <laughs> Compatible with various batteries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the oh, juice? You know, that Onyx needs a proper burial, man. If you love it, you will let it go. There's the numbers. <coughs> All right, input up to 30 volts. Input, damn. Fifteen amps times two, so fifteen amps per channel. I mean, that is as good as my. Well, I'm not saying this unit is as good as it, but that's as good power as my ISDT, uh, whatever eight D eight. That has no power supply and costs about a hundred bucks, eighty nine bucks, I think. Mm -hmm. This thing can charge sixteen S. Because we all have those. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's Nikehead. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, nobody has 16S. It's nonsense. No, it, it's a good ah. price, and from what I've seen, it's an excellent charger. I don't know anybody or many people that have much bad to say about it. I don't know if I believe this. <laughs> no, that ain't ha You are not discharging at 15 amps. It ain't happening. Nope. All the heats, baby. I mean, the maximum I've ever seen is three. And well, that's notice really the discharge hot. current is three amps times two, so it's three amps per channel. <laughs> yeah. That's saying external discharge current. So oh. if you are running an external DC power supply that can support it, it can support <sighs> up to. It was more entertaining when my bubble before my bubble was burst. I know I was going to let it keep perpetuating itself, but now I, I actually saw a mod recently where somebody took that and took the case off of it and dremeled in XT30 connectors, too, so that they could directly charge XT30 on it as well. So it has a little room inside, too. That makes sense. That would that would make this thing really fucking nice. But you know what? Everybody gets parallel boards anyway. I mean, yeah. if y'all haven't by now, you ought to listen and spend the money on that Bardwell board. That shit's worth it. Big time. Now, I got the old school one that charges 10 batteries, but it only charges one kind of battery. 
So I have one parallel board for my XD30s, and I have one parallel board for my, you know, 6S. To be fair, I don't feel like that's a con because most people, if you're going to parallel charge, it's going to stop accidents. Yeah, actually, that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. Safest board on the market. Um, it's worth the money, guys. I mean, you most of you know Chris's story, so. Oh, even me. I mean, this is one of the uh, good old just bare bones guys. And if you look in some of those ports, you can see where I've burned up pins. Yeah, I think has got one fuse in the end of it. Yep. I ain't doing shit. <laughs> hey, now. It's been running for years. But this is not a bad charger. You need another one? No. ISDT I was... not doing the trick? My ISDT fucking rubs my balls if I don't fucking <laughs> put it away. <laughs> like I'll wake up with my balls being rubbed. And I'm like, God damn it. I forgot to put the fucking charger away again. That's funny. All right. Enough of that shit. No, that's good. That's you know. You want to hear something stupid? Always. Uh, I bought a brass miniature pry bar for seventy dollars the other day. Yep, it's about I don't know about four or five, four inches long. Why? It's got a bottle cap open on one side. Oh, I've been obsessed with this everyday carry bullshit. Okay. And when so I get obsessed, anything I can get what, into my truck is fair game. And when I get obsessed with something, I just buy lots of stupid shit. Okay. At least that's a reason. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm like, where's this going? Are are we going to start going in and out of uh, you know? Are we going to start going into urban exploration and we're looking to be able to break into safes and file cabinets and shit? Or where are we going with this? Actually. I don't know where. Oh, it's in my bag in the back. Uh, I bought a badass lockpick set the other week. Look, I even got. Uh, I think it's right here. Yeah, I even got root down here. See through practice locks. Now everybody knows from watching TV, you can jam anything into a lock set and open it. This one's so cheap, I could open that shit with a tension bar. <laughs> <laughs> In most cheap masters, you can just rake, which is where what you're saying comes from. Yes. And you know what? I don't really need a bottle opener. And everything in EDC has a fucking bottle opener on it. Like, everything does. I don't need that shit. I have a lighter. If it's because I ever the need only it. thing people who are obsessed with EDC are actually doing is drinking. I don't drink. They carry all their cool stuff and go, hey guys, look at this cool thing I got that I'm never going to use. I'm so badass. I am prepped and ready for the Third World War. Hey, when I get my check, dude, I'm getting a uh, um uh, a Leatherman Skeletool. Hmm. But you know what? Things like that do come in handy. I really miss... So I carried a Gerber multiplier for years. And there are still times to this day where I miss that knife. I miss the utility in my pocket. So... All right, guys. Well... Congrats to Big Oily, or no, it wasn't Big Oily, what the hell was his name? We can congratulate him again. Bobby something. Bags. Bobby Bags. That's it. Congratulations to Bobby Bags on winning his $50 gift certificate to wherever he ends up emailing us he wants it from. Raz, glad to hear that you are uh, going to spend some more time in the area. Hope to catch up with you when I get back from the West Virginies. 
Thank you to all you guys for stopping in. Remember to invite some friends if you want. We'll be back in two weeks, probably doing another giveaway of a gift card at that time. Yeah, I had yeah, that we, up there for a while. We got we got some money to get rid of, guys. So yeah. And what better way to do it than to let you spend it on what you need, other than some instead of some random bullshit that we can come up with. Plus, we're fucking lazy, so it just makes it so much easier. <laughs> well, I mean, it's your fifty dollars, so whatever you want. Right. So until next time, you guys have a happy hump day. And may all your humpy dreams come true. Bye-bye, y'all.